All right, people, Nick Roberts here, and today we're talking five steps to spice up your future pacing. If you don't know what future pacing is, it's a technique that you can bring into your copywriting which looks like this. Imagine, 10 days from now, you wake up, still yawning, you head to the kitchen. As the kettle boils, you turn on your computer, open your email, and wait, what the hell? Message after message, you earned a commission, you earned a commission, you earned a commission. 10 days ago, you doubted it was even possible, and yet here you are, you've done it, it's finally happened. So future pacing is all about getting your audience immersed in a daydream, okay? Getting people to imagine how good using your product feels. It's about getting them to experience a transformation. You're giving them a taste of a result. And it's a bit like giving them a free sample of your product, except that it's like a mental sample that they're conjuring up themselves, all right? Now, we can apply certain rules and formulas to our future pacing just to help us structure it and make it better. Okay, I'm gonna run you through these now. Step one, you wanna open with the words imagine or picture this. Step two, you then wanna bring in a specific time frame. Okay, so imagine 10 days from now, picture this a week from now. Imagine waking up tomorrow. And a little tip here, you do wanna be specific with your time frame, all right? So imagine three weeks from now versus imagine a few weeks from now, okay? One's just a bit, you know, it doesn't pack the same punch. You do wanna get specific with your numbers. And also you wanna make the benefit in the near future. All right, check this. Imagine three weeks from now, you've published your first book. People are like, hey, cool, three weeks, I've got a book. That's wicked. Versus imagine three years from now, you've published your first book. People are like, that seems so far away. It doesn't excite me at all. It's not raising my excitement levels. You know, it doesn't inspire me. It's too, too distant. Okay, so you wanna bring the benefit into the near future. Step three. All right, you want to sell a feeling. I've said this many times, people buy on emotion and the more feeling you can bring into your words, uh, the better, all right? Check this one out. Imagine waking up tomorrow, you leap out of bed, no headache, no hangover, you feel fresh and full of energy, all right? Now, when I read that, that feels good. I mean, I can almost feel that in my body just reading it. And that's what you want from people. You want people to read your, your copy and your words and you want them to think, yeah, that feels lovely. I can feel that, I'm experiencing that right now, and I want more of that. Okay, and that's the effect you're going for. So step four, we call it future pacing, but you should really look at it as present pacing. Okay, so you want people to experience the daydream happening to them now. And the way you do this is you just change all future tense to present tense, all right? Let me show you an example of this. So this top one here is in the future tense, and the bottom one is in the present tense. Look at the difference, the present tense is much more uh, convincing, all right? Imagine, 10 days from now, you'll wake up, you'll head to the kitchen, you'll turn on your computer, you'll open your email, and you'll think, wait, what the hell, all right? It feels very distant, almost like a future memory. Now check it, when you bring it into the present, 10 days from now, you wake up, still yawning, you head to the kitchen, you turn on your computer, you open your email, suddenly it feels like you're doing it in the present, okay? And it's just by switching it to the present tense. Another little tip here is once you switch to the present tense, you can then bring in some past tense, all right? So you want to create this retrospective, almost reminiscent looking back effect, all right? I'll show you an example of this in a second. And I like to say the future, with future pacing, the future has become the present, and now the present has become the past, all right? <laughs> You'll see what I mean. So, 10 days ago, you doubted it was even possible, and yet here you are, you've done it, it's finally happened. Okay, I'm dropping in that past tense, okay? And finally, step five. There's what I like to call positive pacing and negative pacing, okay? The stick is often a stronger motivator than the carrot. What does that mean? It means people act faster to avoid pain than they do to experience pleasure, okay? If someone's in a really bad situation, their back's against the wall, you know, they're completely broke, they're in a lot of pain, they will often be the most likely to act to get themselves out of that pain because uh, they want to get away from that pain, okay? Whereas someone's, you know, in a bit of a comfortable state and you dangle a carrot in front of them, they're like, oh, I do want the carrot, but I'm also pretty comfortable where I am. I'm not gonna go for it. Whereas the guy in the pain, he'll be like, I'm getting out of here, this is horrible, okay? So, um, let me show you an example of that. 
Imagine the feeling. So the top one, by the way, positive, bottom one, negative. Imagine the feeling. Next time you're out with friends, one of them asks, so how's life? And you reply, amazing. You know, I finally quit my job and now I'm working full time from home. So that would be positive pacing. Now check this negative one out. Imagine the feeling. Next time you're out with friends, one of them asks, so how's life? You reply, not great, you know. I'm still stuck in a job I hate. My boss is a complete wanker and I've got nothing on the horizon, right? So it's pretty depressing shit, but sometimes you need to remind people of the price of inaction and that the pain is just gonna remain or get worse, okay? And uh, that's it, all right? That was five short steps to spice up your future pacing. Really, help, really hope it helps you out with your copywriting. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you enjoy content like this, I'm trying to put out as much as possible whenever I can. So uh, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Wish you all the very best wherever you are in the world. Keep killing it. And uh, I'll catch you real soon. Take care.